my garage door opener is going. Da, 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 da. I think the rear rear mirror is rattling a little bit. Just yeah, a little annoying. I think I think it's just rattling every piece of plastic in here. this anymore we're more than six feet apart and full sand here you know I'm getting uh, get really tired about you know the rattling noises inside the cabin it's like ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm just getting annoyed with it so today I'm gonna show how to get that sound generator out uh, uh, that's a F16 flying over I love that sound though freedom it sounds like freedom right so today we're going to do the sound generator removal, uh, which the gen sound generator is up under here. Um, so you're going to need some tools and some other stuff, but hey, we're going to do this step by step, and uh, hey, let's get this thing out of here. Go ahead and pop your hood, come up under here, and at the end of your windshield wiper, there's going to be a, a cover, um, and you can get it with your nails, just put your nails under there and pry it off, just like this. It's a little rubber gasket type or uh, cover and then you're going to expose your nut to your windshield wiper and we'll do this one over here same thing and I noticed there's bird poop man dang it dang birds all right let's uh let's get these off real quick go ahead and get yourself a 14 millimeter socket set it up Put it on here and break this loose. There it is. So if you really want to make sure that you get this in the right spot, um, along with the tape, you know, the tape will work. Um, but if you get too nervous, what you can do is just get a ruler or something and I've, I've done this uh, just you know mark a straight line so that it's lined up because this is on it's on a gear type um, you'll see it when I pull this off it's it, there's it's uh, like gears um, so you can just go ahead and mark with uh, with a marker straight line so that you know when you put it back on there is no questions asked you have it lined up exactly where it needs to go so it's and, and this this right here is because if you turn on your windshield wipers right and it goes up well I mean you don't want it you don't want it hitting right here you know on on your a frame you or, uh, your pillar I'm sorry a frame on your pillar um, and you can see the the line where it stops okay so if you get worried about it honestly you can do this step to make sure that you get this in the right position so we got the nut off we got it marked both ways. We got it marked here and up there with tape. No way we're gonna mess up this alignment. Uh, with the driver's side, you can just lift it up and it will clear it will clear the, the trunk um, hood here. And then you're just gonna wanna pull it up. And right here's your driver's side uh, windshield wiper. And I'll show you the the gear type uh, thing that I was talking about. Now, as you can see inside here, you know, there's um, cutouts um, so that you can put it on here and you see it, it's teeth um, so that they engage and, and we'll be able to move. So I guess I should say teeth and not uh, gears because it's kind of the same concept. You, you understand. So let's get the... Uh, passenger side off and this this one's gonna be a little different hey and full send how do I know what side this one goes on or this one goes on well you can mark it left or right or driver side passenger side uh, but the rule of thumb is not on all cars but most cars your driver side uh, windshield wiper is gonna be a lot longer than your passenger side 
And as you can tell, this thing's got you know 10 inches on it. This is a 26 and this is 16. Um, so if you're doing it, just remember, bigger side goes on the drive side. Smaller guy on the passenger side. Okay, now we got that off. Let's go ahead and start removing this plastic um, that is going to cover that, that sound generator. And you got a clip right here. Um, some more down through here. Right there's one. Right there's another one. And then you got another one over here. Now, the thing with these clips are you don't pry them up. You release them by, let's see if I can get that light in there. The center part. You're going to want to press that down. That's what releases it. It's not a pry up, it's a push down. So we'll just get our screwdriver on here, press it down, you see it indented. That has released the locking mechanism in that. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these pushed down. Don't push too hard. If you push too hard, it's gonna go, it's gonna go straight through and then into your engine bay. And you know, that would suck. All right, so we got them all pushed down. And uh, now we need to release the clip. Um, and the way I do that is I'll put my thumb over it and just kind of wiggle it out. Uh, the reason is you can go ahead and put, you know, a, a flathead screwdriver or something in between the two plastics here and pry it up a little bit. Uh, I don't like to do that because I don't like I don't want to scratch up my my plastic. You can, but I don't do that. The reason why I put my thumb over this is this if. If you just start prying up, this thing's gonna, it's, this thing's gonna go, boom, it's gonna shoot straight up, probably hit here, and then, you guessed it, go in the engine bay, and yes, it would suck. So go ahead and just put your thumb over it, put your fingers under here, kind of wiggle it, pops up, take the clip out, and it's out of there. So let's get the rest of these out. Clips are all out. Next thing you want to do is come over here. As you can see, there's a split right here. So this is a separate piece. This is going to come out. The way you do that is you just kind of simply pop this out. I'll show you how to do that. Just kind of wiggle it. it. should pop right there. It's got a clip. And then you just remove it. And you can see your glasses exposed right there. That's pretty cool, huh? And then you want to come over here to this side and do the same thing. Because there's another one over here. As you can see. Um, so you're just going to wiggle this side loose. That'll pop up. Release from the main plastic here. And uh, just kind of shake it. So what it is, is you can see the clips uh, and how it goes in there. So these two right here, uh, let me get you in the light, let me get uh, better. These two clips here, as you can see, they're going to go underneath the windshield right there. You know, these two here, they're going to slide underneath the windshield. And then you got this, which is going to go right into that. Um, and then you got this guy at the end here, this one. That one right there, and that's going to go right there. So when you put this back on, and I'll show you, but, you know, uh, just slide these two underneath the windshield first, uh, and then get it in position, and clip those down. No big deal. I'll show you how to do it. All right, we have everything removed. Now we can go ahead and take this whole piece up and out. Uh, but we're going to have to disconnect the windshield wiper uh, hose that goes to your sprayers. Um, so let's start removing this. What you're going to want to do is take your left hand, lift up a little bit. Go ahead and take your right hand. Uh, and we, we have to pry this away from the windshield while pulling. Pull with your left hand, like up. Your left hand is going to pull this up and pull to the bumper while your right hand is jiggling the seal here up here so as you can see it's starting to separate and we'll go over here to the other side and do the same thing I'll turn the camera a little bit there we go um, in opposite so you're gonna pull up and pull out with your right hand while your left hand you know gets that undone from the left side so here we go 
and don't pull out like really quick because we do have to disconnect the hose so pull that up a little bit pull that out from underneath make sure everything's clean so you know this this is going to come out but let's get to that hose um, for your windshield washer fluid to your sprayers okay so here's your hose what you're going to do is simply put your fingers on there and just kind of pull it off. Disconnects. There you go. So now that we have our hose over here on our passenger side disconnected for your windshield wiper sprayers right here, now we can take this plastic off. What you can do is lift up, kind of jiggle it from underneath the window, and it comes out in one piece. Just like this. And yes, I'm going to get rid of that bird poop. Nasty little bird. But let's set this aside and then we'll get down to business. Alright, we got all that off um, and it exposes everything under here. Here's the culprit. This is your sound generator. And I do believe it shakes everything inside uh, because it's mounted right underneath the windshield. So I think those vibrations from the engine uh, goes through here and rattles, you know, all the plastic on your dash, uh, possibly your rear view mirror, and for sure my garage door opener. And that thing, I could probably tape it up, but I, you know, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this guy and uh, just discontinue all that rattling inside. And as you can see, it is mounted right up underneath your windshield so I think like I said that vibration is going up through there and rattling everything um, so this guy here is a 10 millimeter um, I'm gonna use a socket uh, you can use an open end or a box end uh, to get this off if you don't because it is very close to the windshield uh, but it should work if not then I'll grab my open end or box end, box end wrench um, and here's the wiring to it. it goes over here so just disconnect this. This is a little tab right here. Just gonna go ahead and pry that up. Wiggle it out. There you go. That's what that guy is. So I am going to ha uh, go ahead and take this up with electrical tape. Uh, sh nothing should get in here, um, but I am gonna wrap it up just to be sure. And I'll probably piece put a piece of tape down here um, so that it's not, you know, vibrating all over the place. Um, I'll go ahead and secure that. Um, you can go ahead and leave it like this. Just leave this here. Keep this, you know, tape it up, uh, tape it down. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's only one extra step right here. Uh, this will be fine, but I'm going to go ahead and take this out. I am going to keep this because if I get rid of the car, I'm going to go ahead and throw all the OEM parts back into it so that someone else can experience uh, the agony of vibration through the, through the, <laughs> through the car. Um, but actually, you know, uh, a lot of people want the OEM parts and they want it perfect. Um, some people. Uh, and when you're taking this off, don't worry about it dropping. If you do drop it, uh, this is all hollow right here. You'll be able to pick it up. Um, but when you do transport it from here, <laughs> you guessed it. Don't let it drop into the engine bay because that would suck. I got my 10 millimeter set up here. Um, just as I thought, it does clear. I'm just not going to put pressure up, up that way uh, because I don't want to crack my windshield. And as you can tell, uh, when you put this back in, you can't mess it up because there is a in, uh, tab right here. Uh, for indication on how you put this in and you'll see that when I pull this out. So let's get this nut off Okay, that's drop Let's get that nut off And here you go. Here's the culprit of all that rattling and shaking and uh, here's that that uh, install tab right there as you can see that just uh, goes up in there and then your uh, stud will go up in here. So if you do decide to go ahead and reinstall this after you you know, get rid of the car or, or um, sell it, you can put this back in, no big deal. Let's go ahead and get the electrical tape and uh, tape up that wire. 
So I went ahead and put electrical tape around the connector uh, so that would um, protect that. And then, as you can see, this is actual uh, duct tape. I didn't use electrical tape to uh, tape it down because electrical tape isn't very really sticky uh, on metal and stuff. Duct tape holds this stuff down. And uh, I did go ahead and use camo um, so that nobody could see it uh, because it's camouflaged. So <laughs> that's uh, that's what I did. I taped it down so that it doesn't rattle. No rattling. So let's go ahead and put our plastic back in. Uh, your windshield is going to go ahead and sit in the seam right here. Um, so you're going to want to put that in at an angle. Uh, as you can tell, I did go ahead and get that bird poo out. Uh, pesky little birds. Bird poop for any paint or plastic is not good. Just clean it up if you see bird poop. Don't let it sit on there. It's very, very bad for it. So go ahead and clean that up. So let's go ahead and install this. So this piece right here, uh, it's a little bit of a, uh, it's like foam. Um, this is going to slide underneath. So let's get this in place. As you can tell, I'm taking that tab and I'm going to slide it underneath the windshield. And we'll get this in place relevant to, you know, where your holes are uh, for your clips. Uh, now, you're going to want to take the tab here. Notice how I, I went in at an angle so that the windshield would get up underneath this plastic part here. And uh, what we're going to do now is wiggle it up in there until it clicks in there. Uh, you heard the click. We're good on that side. I'm going to go over here um, to the passenger side and do the same. I'll turn my camera a little bit for you. heard that click it's all in place um, now I'm going to take my camera off my stand and you can see the holes are lined up all the way through this plastic is in place right now um, so let's go ahead and grab our end pieces here for the driver side and passenger side over here and get those installed like I said before um, these end pieces, you know, you have your two tabs right here and here. Um, locations are here and here, and then, you know, uh, this slides up underneath the windshield. Um, you cannot get these mixed up. Uh, they only go in one way. So, I mean, just look at it. So what we're going to do is put the windshield wipe, or, uh, windshield tabs up underneath first. Um, and then get this aligned. That'll click in, that clicks in. Everything is clicked in there. So same thing with the driver side. We're going to put the passenger side in the same way. Tabs underneath the windshield first. And then uh, put these tabs in until it clicks. That's in there. All right, now let's go ahead and put in our little clips. So with the clips, you're gonna go ahead and, okay, so you know that, you know, you push these in, the center part to, you know, you push them in to dis, uh, disengage the locking mechanism. Now when you put these in, it's a little different. Um, go ahead and disconnect it. Um, just pull that, that center piece up um, and it will come out. So just pull this out. And then you've got the base part. Um, you got the lock, and then you got the base part. Go ahead and uh, align your hole and put this in first. And then go ahead and take your your center locking mechanism and go ahead and put that in the center, and just push it down until you hear the click. And then go ahead and give it a little bit of a tug to see if it comes out. Uh, and that is fully engaged. The plastic piece is secure. Got all the clips back in. Uh, let's go ahead and hook up our windshield washer fluid hose um, back up to the nipple. And you just simply just push it on there until it is in. And that is good to go. Now let's move on to our windshield wipers. Okay, let's go ahead and install our windshield wipers. Um, we did do that mark. This is the easiest way. So what we're going to do is just line those up, put it on there, 
put the nut on and we're going to do the same thing with the passenger side um, so let me uh, just mark this or well get it aligned not mark it I already marked it should and go ahead and press down on the middle right here um, so that it will engage you go ahead and leave that we'll go get our nut and our uh, ratchet and we'll hook this back up So I got my nut, I can go ahead and put that on there, and my lines are marked, they're aligned, so we should be good there, uh, but you know, check it obviously after, after the uh, install. Go ahead and tighten that up. Alright, not, not too tight, just you know good and tight. Go ahead and get our cap, put our cap back on there. And that is good and I'll show you, even our tape mark should be on. Yeah, tape mark, as you can see. Uh, let me get over here. Tape mark is good. Um, the easiest way though, you know, is just go ahead and mark the stud with the um, wiper blade uh, arm that way you know it's on there it's all good you can align with the with the tape as well but I find that being very useful very easy when installing so that it doesn't over travel let's get that uh, passenger side on and it should be buttoned up so that's how you take the sound generator out of our car I'm in full send, and as always, stay COVID-free and drive safe.